Fox 23 has been closely following the growing push against Common Core standards, and today that fight gained some steam at the state capitol. That's where an Owasso mom we first introduced you to last month told the House Committee why they're not in the best interest of students here. Jenks Middle School principal Rob Miller also testified. Fox 23 morning anchor Michelle Lynn investigates changes already being seen in the classroom. Emily Anderson is a ninth grader here at Owasso Mid High. She started this Facebook group, Owasso Students Against Common Core, less than a week ago. I had no idea that people would just cling on to it and comment and like and share it and everything. She tells us she's already seeing Common Core inside her classrooms. We found some of her textbooks already say aligned with Common Core standards. Just yesterday, we're learning a new uh, concept with triangles and geometry and she said we're not going to go really deep into it because it's really hard for most kids to understand but you know I feel bad for the kids next year who are going to have to deal with it. Although she's only in ninth grade Emily thinks she knows a better way to roll out the new standards. They should choose like a kindergarten year and go up with them in the future ones after that. She tells us a lot of her classmates aren't even aware of the big changes coming their way. They've been taught one way for the last 10 years. Now Common Core demands a lot more. So do you have anxiety right now about what's to come? And there could be a straight A student that Common Core makes them have their first B senior year right before they go off to college. Emily is taking pre-AP classes, so the depth and rigor aren't too much for her, but she recognizes it's going to be much harder for some of her peers. I know I'm you know, not stupid, I'm not dumb. I just know that whatever is going on isn't working with the way that I learn. Emily will be at the Owasso gathering on Main Thursday night, hoping to recruit more group members. Reporting in Owasso, Michelle Lynn, Fox 23 News.